Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be taking a look at what is perhaps my favorite AI feature within the world of Jira. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you drop a like to this video, and don't forget to check out those links down in the description as you wanna check out those links to my merch store, paid courses, free courses, memberships, different ways that you can help support the channel, and most importantly, I'm dropping a book very, very quickly. I'm gonna be a published author. And so if you want to check that book out, the link's in the description as well. Let's jump into Jira and let's talk about AI and automation rules. Today's sponsor is NASA, not another standup app. The ultimate app for running efficient daily standups. Simplify your meetings and keep your team aligned effortlessly. All right, so here we are inside of a Jira project and I am under the automation section. Now, what I'm about to show you is very, very interesting, okay? This capability that I'm about to show you exists primarily for automation rules that are gonna be in customers that are premium or enterprise. So if you do not have Jira Cloud, and then more specifically, if you don't have Jira Cloud Premium or Jira Cloud Enterprise, then you're not gonna get the full effect of this video, but you can go talk to Atlassian about that. This is becoming a common theme. If you watched any of my recent videos, you know that Atlassian is not only not giving any love to data center, but even within the cloud, they're really creating a big divide between what features and capabilities go to the premium customers and which ones go to the standard and free. And this divide is becoming quite significant. But anyways, for this video, we're gonna talk about a special little button right here. It's called Create with AI. And so when I click on this button, again, premium and enterprise only, we're going to get redirected to this prompt over here. And in here, I can tell AI when you want your rule to run and what it should do. Now, before we get too far, I wanna caveat a couple of things, right? One, this is still very raw. AI in Jira is okay. It gets better every day. But with automation rules, there's just so much complexity. There's so many things you can do with the automation rules that it's the AI is still learning. But with that said, the flip side of that coin is that because there's so much with automation rules, because there's so much complexity with automation rules, I could probably teach like a six, eight hour course just on learning how to use automation rules. And so there's a lot of capabilities within this world that if you're a newbie or beginner, it might be very, very overwhelming and challenging to know what is or isn't possible. So I really, really like this capability because as you're gonna see in a few seconds here, using natural language, we're gonna ask it to do something far-fetched and then AI is going to come back with a result. Now that result may or may not work. Most of the times, spoilers, it doesn't work. But through a couple of refinements, right, you can try the same request, but just ask it in different ways you might be able to piece together three or four or five different tries to get the perfect rule that you want. So let's go take a look. Let's look at an actual example. So what I'm gonna tell AI here is I'm gonna say, every day I want to send a reminder to the reporter, to the assignee of an epic whenever an epic's due date is within two days. All right, again, totally not scripted, have no idea what's gonna happen. We're gonna hit the enter button here and AI is gonna do its thing. Now this could work out really, really well and it can just give us the perfect automation rule now or we might have to ask it a couple of times just to get what we want. So let's take a look at what we got. So the trigger is gonna be scheduled every day at 9 a.m. All of this is customizable. So if you don't like this Sydney or Australia time zone, you can change all of this right over here too. If you don't want it to run at 9 a.m., you can change it. You can do whatever you want. But this right here, this is the interesting part. This is the part that I absolutely love about AI and specifically with the AI with automation rules. Because unless you know, unless you know how to do this stuff over and over and over and over, this right here is tricky. This JQL, figuring this out, trying to understand what does my JQL look like, right? Like how do I enact on a rule two days before a due date. Like that part's a little trickier in Jira, right? And so look at this. We're gonna be able to take the issue types in Epic, so it's gonna restrict it to just Epics, and then we're gonna see that the due date is less than two days from now. 
right? That's what this basically means right here. So the automation was able to figure out this, what I'll call a complex part for us that we can now leverage, okay? So perfect, we got a good trigger. Now we're gonna do something interesting. The automation rule is going in a, in a direction that I wasn't expecting. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a smart variable called epic. Now I'm not quite sure what it's doing here because again, I'm seeing this for the first time. So let's just take a look at what it's doing, right? So it's gonna go and find every epic. And it's just, it looks like it's just gonna put it in a variable called issues or an issues variable called epic, <laughs> right? And it looks like it's just gonna find every everything that we search for. And we're looking for anything that doesn't have the assignee empty because obviously if there's no assignee, there's nobody to send the email to, right? And so over here, what it looks like it's doing is then for every epic that it found, that's stuck in that loop, in that array, it's then gonna send this message. It's gonna send it to the assignee's email address, it's gonna send a reminder on the subject line, and then it's gonna give us a little bit of information. Okay, and that's it. So it's just gonna automatically send that email. So I think this is good enough. Um, the last thing that you gotta do, if you do like it, right, you can review your rule and turn it on, so you can click on the turn on button here, or you can try it again. If you don't like what you see, you can just simply tell it, sorry, <laughs> no dice, let's try that again, right? And this is where you can have a little bit of fun with Atlassian Intelligence and kind of just iteratively try and try and try until you get something that works for exactly the use case that you want. So again, I highly recommend if you're on premium or enterprise, try this out. It is a game changer. I, I assure you, this is a capability that I use every single day because gone are the days where I gotta like sit here for an hour or two or a week or even two weeks and go, how in the world do I make an automation rule for this, right? And so the power of Atlassian intelligence really, really, in my opinion, shines so well here. This is one of my favorite use cases. So anyways, that's it for this video. Go try it out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you getting good results? Are you having to iteratively keep refining your question? I'm curious to know what your results are. Let me know down in that comment section down below. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, you should hit the subscribe button, drop a like, and check out those links in the description. I got sponsors for the video and many, many different ways that you can help support this channel with the merch store, with the book, with courses, so much content available for you. So make sure you check out this, those links in the description down below. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out the Not Another Standup app for customizable meeting questions. Make each meeting fit your team's needs perfectly.